Hello, and welcome to Keep Information Systems Simple, video on Microsoft O365 Excel's XLOOKUP command. The XLOOKUP command is very similar to both the VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. Um, links to those videos in the description below. The benefit of the XLOOKUP is it doesn't care if your data is sorted horizontally or vertically. And so in this scenario here, we have um, employee data, we have it sorted vertically and employee data sorted horizontally. We'll show you how the XLOOKUP command will work for both of these. We made a search sheet that is going to have a data validation tool that we can drop down menu for all of our users. Um, and we want it to return the employee ID and their starting salary. Unlike the HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP, the order of our data doesn't matter here with XLOOKUP. And so let's get into this. The XLOOKUP function, all functions start with equal, XLOOKUP, searches a range or an array for a match and returns the score corresponding item from a second range or array. By default, an exact match is used. Awesome. XLOOKUP, the lookup value. What do we want to find? We're going to start with the lookup value is whatever data we have in A2. In this case, it's Julia. The lookup array is where we are going to find that data and so we're going to go into our vertical column here and we're going to find that in and we can just say column c to make this dynamic so anywhere in column c it's going to find those names the return array what do we want to return well in this case we want to return their employee id and we can say column a and so we're saying what data do we want to input where are we going to find that data and where are we going to find the data we wish to return? Close our parentheses. And Julia's ID should be 56384. Julia 56384. And that's exactly what we can do. And we'll do this again in the starting salary, but this time we'll use when the data is sorted horizontally. Equals X lookup. What value are we starting with? The name. Where are we going to find that name? That is in row three, comma. The data we wish to return, in this case, we are looking for their salary. So that is gonna be in row six, comma. Or actually, end parentheses. And Julia's starting salary should be $63,000. We find Julia, starting salary is $63,000. X lookup, input data, where I'm going to find the input data, where I'm going to find the return data. Thank you very much.